Freezing fresh vegetables yields the highest quality, flavor, texture, and nutritional value than any other food preservation method. It's easy and fun, too. I am Megan Baumler, recording for Suzanne Dreesen, University of Minnesota Extension Food Safety Educator. In this Freezing Vegetables for Tasty Results module, you will learn how to preserve the color, flavor, and texture of your favorite vegetables. Freezing doesn't improve quality. For best results, freeze vegetables within 24 hours of harvest. Choose fresh, young and tender vegetables, free of disease or injury. Sort for size, ripeness, and color. Wash vegetables before trimming, peeling, or slicing. Wash under running water. Scrub all firmed, skinned vegetables with a produce scrub brush. Pull apart bushy vegetables like broccoli to wash all surfaces. Rinse well and prep according to the recipe. Enzymes are proteins in vegetables that help them ripen and mature. This ripening and maturing process continues after harvest. If you don't stop this process, the vegetables will brown, develop off flavors, and become soft, mushy, and tough. Enzymes in vegetables are inactivated by heat, a process called blanching. You may want to pause the video to, to view or print the blanching vegetable chart from extension.umn.edu. On the website, search blanching vegetables. It includes both water and steam blanching times. Blanching is a process of heating vegetables in boiling water or steam for a short time. It is a must for almost all vegetables to be frozen. It stops enzyme action, the cause of soft, soft, tough, and tasteless vegetables. Blanching also cleans and brightens the color and helps delay loss of vitamins. Blanching wilts or softens vegetables, making them easier to pack. Blanching time is crucial and varies with each vegetable type and size. Underblanching stimulates the activity of enzymes and is worse than no blanching. Overblanching causes loss of flavor, color, vitamins, and minerals. To water blanch vegetables in a large kettle, heat one gallon of water per pound of prepared vegetables, or two gallons of water per pound of leafy greens. Bring water to a boil. Put vegetables into blanch wire basket, coarse mesh bag, or perforated metal strainer, and lower into boiling water. Cover. Start counting blanching time when water returns to a boil. The water should return to boiling within one minute. If it doesn't, you're using too many vegetables for the amount of boiling water. Keep heat on high for the time given in the directions. To steam blanch, boil one to two inches of water in a pot. Bring to a boil and place a single layer of vegetables in the basket in the pot. Cover. Start counting blanching time immediately. Keep the heat high for the time given in the recipe directions. To stop the cooking process, cool immediately in ice water for the same time used in blanching. Except for corn on the cob, cool those twice as long as blanching time. Stir vegetables several times during cooling. You will need about one pound of ice for each pound of vegetables. To prevent ice crystals and moisture loss, drain the vegetables well before freezing. The goal of freezing is to keep moisture in and air out. Use containers designed for freezing made to hold moisture and odors in and prevent freezer burn. Freezer burn is the brownish white spots on the food due to moisture loss. It produces an off flavor and toughens the texture of your food. Food with freezer burn is safe to eat but will be dry and tough. Pack vegetables into containers either by solid or loose pack method. For a solid pack, pack vegetables tightly into containers or freezer bags. Remove as much air as possible. Most foods require headspace. This is the empty space between the packed food and lid closure to allow for expansion of the food as it freezes. Allow one half inch for vegetables. Press out air and seal tightly. For loose pack, put blanched and drained vegetables in a single layer on a shallow pan. Put the pan into the freezer. As soon as the vegetables frozen, Put into freezer containers or bags and press out the air. Allow one and a half inch headspace and seal tightly. On the container, write the name of the food item, the date, frozen, and quantity. 
For best quality, freeze vegetables as quickly as possible. To assure quick freezing, set the freezer temperature at negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours before freezing vegetables. Do not overload the freezer with unfrozen food. Freeze only the amount that will freeze solid within 24 hours. This is usually 2 to 3 pounds of food per cubic foot of storage space. For a 20 cubic foot freezer, freeze no more than 40 to 60 pints of unfrozen food at a time. Overloading slows down the freezing rate, resulting in poorer quality. Spread packages out around the freezer until frozen, and then stack. After vegetables are frozen, keep your freezer at 0 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Place a freezer thermometer in the warmest place in your freezer. This is usually near the top or by the door. Read freezer temperature after it has been in place for 24 hours. Adjust the freezer temperature if it reads above 0 degrees Fahrenheit. For best quality, but not for food safety, use the vegetables within 8 to 12 months of freezing. It is recommended to cook frozen vegetables before eating. There is the potential for Listeria monocytogenes contamination during the cooling and packaging process. Listeria is a bacteria that can cause foodborne illness. Reheating frozen vegetables is especially important if serving high-risk populations such as children under 5, pregnant women, the elderly, or the sick. Listeria is not acid tolerant, so heating is not needed for frozen fruit products. Start with quality produce, wash it well, prep it correctly, blanch it, and then freeze. It is that easy. Freeze vegetables for tasty results.